Hello, welcome to New Scene Anatomy video. Today it's time for the final review of the Mod Device Mod Duo. So let's go! So we have here the Mod Device Mod Duo, and it's not just a simple guitar pedal, but it's also a powerful modular audio processor. And looking here at the interface, you have on the right side two inputs. And so you can put here, of course, guitars, but also synthesizers, drum machines, and more. Then on the left side, you have here also two outputs, and also in the headphone, also output. And as usual for guitar pedal, you have here two switches, and also here are two buttons, and two big screens. On the back side, you have MIDI in, MIDI out, a USB out, so for connecting it to your computer, you have a USB device port, so uh, this allows you to connect any MIDI controller and you have also a control chain input, so you can chain uh, different units together and a power supply input. So to give you an overview what you can do with the Mod Device Mod Duo, I jump now in the software interface uh, to show you more of the features. And what is here cool, it's not a plugin, but it's a web interface in Chrome, for example, and uh, you can open it on your PC or Mac and then change the audio signals or the effects directly in your browser. So let's jump in the interface. I'm now here in the software environment of the Mod Duo for Mod Devices, and you can access them here via the modduo.local in your browser. So prefer to use your Chrome because then you can use the MIDI over USB and your device must be also connected here via the USB. And uh, if this is made, the device will be recognized automatically and you will be accessed here to this interface. And as you can see, you have here the violet cables and also the blue ones. So the violet are the audio, so you have one pipe for the input one and the second one also for the input two. And you have also here um, for the MIDI cable, so the MIDI in. And you have then also here the audio out and the audio 2 out. And then you go on the button here, you see already the different pedals available. I cannot uh, what, um, give you now an example of all the pedals because there are more than 400 available. So I need to make a demo of over 20 hours, for example. So I want to show you all near the concept of this and gives you my idea how you can use this maybe for with synthesizers, with your guitar, for example, also. So, for example, you have here the delays. We can took here a ducking delay. You put it in here. And then what people love also is, for example, reverb. So I go here to reverbs. I put here the shimmer reverb, which is a shimmer reverb. And for connecting them now, I took here the cable. And then I put it here inside. So you have first the delay. And then put the output of the delay directly to the shear reverb. And then I go out here to the connections. And now you have connected the delay and reverb to your pedal board. And you may be asking now, hmm, how can I now change the parameters on my pedal? So this is made here very easy. You go here to the settings and in each pedal or instrument you see this. So you have an interface, an additional interface in the settings. For example, I can turn on off button here. I map this now to the button one, so the foot switch one. Okay. And you see now it's blinking, ducking delay is on. I put on it, it's off, it's on, so it's super easy. And for example, I want also to control the time of my delay. So I go also here. Then I put here the mod knob one, save. And you can see here, it's mapped now to the device. I can put also, for example, the feedback also to mod knob one or to the second, I put it on the knob one. Press on it, so you can switch between the feedback and time. So it's very easy here. 
Now you say, oh, I want also uh, to access to my reverb. Same here, you go to the settings. Uh, also here, I want to switch it on and off via my pedal. So the shear reverb is now my second foot switch. Very easy made here. And I want to change here, for example, also the shimmer. So go here to the settings, the mod knob 2 mapping, and you have here the shimmer on it, and so on. But if you say now, I have also a cool uh, controller beside me, you can go to the settings here and put it to MIDI Learn. And so you can um, put any control also, uh, map your uh, favorite controller to this uh, setting. And then you can uh, control also your the shimmer or the decay or the damping with an other MIDI controller. So it's also very nice here. And as you can see, you can put in here distortions, dynamics, filters, and more. Let's put them out again, because the mod device is not just a effect processor, but also an instrument loader, for example. You can load different instruments. You have here different generators. And I, for example, I have here the AIM synth. And let's make it bigger. And you see, that's not a complete synth, you have only a envelope, you have cut off your resonance, but if you press on it, as usual in the settings, you have here of the full synth en engine. So you have your waveforms, the filters, the envelopes, the reverb, and much more. And also you have the different presets. And to using this now, you take here the MIDI cable, you put it in, and you put it to the and so you can use it also as synthesizer, for example, or as piano. You have here the piano, you have e-piano, you have bass, brass, chromatic percussion, drums, and more. If you want to hear some of these sounds, I invite you to join my other videos, so you can hear the synthesizers, the piano, and more. But what is now cool, you can put on the synths also some cool effects. So I put this again out here, double click. So I put, for example, a stereo reverb on it. Say I took here this one. Then I can put it here on. And so easy, you have now put your a synthesizer on with the reverb. And so you can put big, big, big um, pedal boards here, and you can put it here, make some e with effects and more. What is here very cool, and um, what I don't know, other uh, product which can do this, it can also load max, for, uh, max DSP patches. So you can design your own uh, pedals also, and so you are very open how you can use them. Um, then you have also some spatial stuff, Spectral, which goes more in vocoder, a subsyn, reap cycle is an event based pitch shifter, and, and you have also different utilities. Beside the effects and the synthesizers or instruments, you have also cool MIDI utilities ranging from uh, CC, MIDI filters, uh, you have also a sequencer here, this one here. So you can run here also the synthesizer from a MIDI sequencer, for example. So it's very easy made here. And as I, as I said, you can expand it. The SDK is open source, so you can de design your own pedals uh, or import them from Max, uh, Max for Life or Max DSP. And so we've seen you can do a lot with this pedal, and it's, so it's not just a GitHub effect pedal. Then we have here also a pedal board library. If you know something now, I don't know how to patch it or don't know uh, which pedals fits good together, you can put here some uh, examples. For example, this drum board here, okay. And it's loaded directly in the interface, but also directly here in the pedal. And you see here you have different pedals together and you can use them 
with your guitar or your synthesizer. But you have also different other pedal boards also available on the um, internet. So on the um, website of Mod Devices. Then if you have different banks, so you can design your own banks. And so you, the banks can be then used also here. Press long on it. You see a banks, current pedal board, the volume and gains, the headphone and the Bluetooth. Press on it, you're outside. And then you have also a plugin store. So you can, because actually in my editor there are 178 different pedals installed, but there are more than 400 plugins available currently. And with the release of the new device, I'm pretty sure there will be more and more pedals available in future. And as you can see here, you can install also different other um, feedbacks here. You have a granulator also here. You have a floaty with a floaty modulation delay. Sounds also very interesting. Then you have different distortions, especially for the guitarist. This is very interesting. Filters, more generators, uh, modulators, reverbs, and more. New, since uh, some weeks or some months, you have also paid plugins. So if you have the DT1, and you have here the Shear Reverb and the Wolf. So they are the first developers who develop um, commercial plugins for it. So this will be more and more coming. And yeah, if you press on it, you can also install a trial version and so tr trial before you can buy it. And then you have on the right side here on the bottom the BPM, so you can sync your stuff also here to your normal stuff, MIDI ports, bypass the CPU, and there must be a bit careful how you can how many pedals you can use, because you see here this pedal bolt consumes already 50% of the CPU and four, uh, 14 of the RAM. With the new pedal, uh, with the new mod X, which coming uh, soon. Uh, which is great for synthesizers uh, or electronic musicians. You still have a better CPU. Pack. Then you have here also the settings. And you can, uh, in the settings, you can also update your firmware very easily here. And cool here is the, de the developers also uh, release quite regular new updates for it. Then you have uh, no control chain here. So this means you can put also a different a second mod a device to it and you see the system is up to date so you can check always um, if your device is either an update or not then on top you have the presets you can save them you can load them you have a new pedal board press on it it will load a new pedal board this takes some seconds then you have save a save as and you can share also your pedals I think um, I give you now a good overview what is possible here with the Mod Duo. I give you now some extract from my sound demos which are available completely on my channel. But I want to include here some sound demos also.
My final impression of the Mod Device Mod 2 is positive. I really love the co uh, such concept where hardware meets software and for me the Mod Duo is a great example how both worlds can uh, work uh, great together. Positive to see here, for me the build quality is great. It's solid and not cheap uh, designed, so it's, it has a value and it uh, doesn't feel like a China device. Also, um, for me, a big plus here is it uses modern technologies and doesn't try to emulate an old unit, for example. So it's a new concept where software meets hardware and devices. And also positive to see, it's uh, more than just an analog guitar pedal because it can be a synthesizer, a looper, an effect processor, or even MIDI devices and more. And also that you can uh, import Max DSP uh, patches also is for me a big plus where I uh, well love this uh, style of concepts where we have big software um, stuff and have often problems to work with them in a hardware environment. So this device is for me a great example. Also, this Max DSP patches opens a new world to this um, sound, in my opinion, what makes this uh, very powerful here. Also, I love here the modular architecture of the Mod uh, Duo, uh, because you can customize uh, your controls in the device. You are not forced to use uh, any parameter, and so you can design your own interface perfectly for your workflow. Also, a prefer here, or for me a plus, is that the soft environment is on the web. So it, uh, no risk that a plugin doesn't work. And so you can use it also later when you have a, an older PC or Mac. Also cool here is that the developers uh, have a big library on start already. And that there is a community which brings new patches always online. We have some mixed uh, feelings is the, with the sound quality. But it's normal because we have a library of 400 pedals and it's sure that not all the pedals have a great quality or a stunning quality. So there are really cool um, sound um, effects inside, also instruments, which have a great sound quality, but there are also some which doesn't sound that great. So um, same for if you use it now for synths. There are some pedals which doesn't work great with synths, but better for guitars. So um, this must be known with the mod device or mod duo that not all the uh, effects works great on synths or drum machines. Also, I am mixed with a feeling where I have still a bug um, with my Arturia controllers. So I contacted many Arturia controllers like the Keystab or the Minilab here in the USB port and it doesn't work. So for me it's a bug because other controllers works great. Negative or we have critics is that first of all these knobs here. I'm not the biggest fan of these knobs because they are endless. So you have no, no visual or haptic feedback where it stops and where it starts. So they are endless and you can tr uh, turn and turn and turn. So you have no visual feedback of them. I would prefer here where we have knobs where they start and where they stops. So this would be better for better uh, interface in my opinion. Also, I don't understand the design of this here. It's maybe just a design language because I don't need to port it like this. So I, because it's, um, it's not perfect to using the knobs here because you can, you come always with the fingers here on this device here. So I would prefer one without this one. Also, um, a bit critical here is on the software environment, you don't have a mixer where you can check your uh, audio levels or where you can match uh, the effects perfectly. For this, you need to go in, in the hardware, you press longer in it, and you can go here to the volumes and gains, and so you can change the, the gains of the input one. And for me, this could be done also in the software version, which I really love to see this in the future update for it. Nonetheless, for me, the mod device 
Modu is a very interesting new pedal and as I said it's more than just a normal pedal so it's a au modular audio processor and I'm happy that the company created such a device which shows where our, our modern audio technology currently is and which doesn't try to emulate old devices but looking forward uh, with modern technologies uh, what we can do with our instruments or modern effects. Please let me know in the comments below what you think about the mod device uh, or mod duo. Do you love it or is it perfectly for you or are you a less um, hybrid system uh, fan? So do you prefer to use more standard hardware device or hardware device which goes in a new direction like this where hardware meets software? So please let me know in the comments below what do you think about this. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumb and a subscription for more future videos. Big thanks for watching and I hope to see you very soon in all of our next videos. Bye!